Off they go. They're racing for the Tri Unibet's new Acker Boosts handicap. It's Division One. They're over at essentially a mile and a half. And in the early stages, Orange Martini got a pretty good start, leads up. Tidal Storm has rushed up to try and take a posse as well. Escarpment in the black and orange colours makes a wave of three. Then in between uh, those two is the Bay Warriors. So there's a, a little bit of a pace button fight going on here. Four of them across the track as they make the run to the turn. Uh, Grigio is sitting just behind uh, that little uh, speed battle. Surely uh, not uh, too bothered about that. Jack Mitchell, a bit of a gap back then to V Power, who's last but one, and then total lockdown, the red cap is at the rear of the field. So time to take a bit of a deep breath now as they make their way around the bottom turn. It's Orange Martini that leads to Tidal Storm, who's racing in second. Grigio's up the inside now in third. Then round the outside is the Bay Warrior in the diamond jacket. Interesting that Escarpment just been taken back now by Alistair Rawlinson into a mid-division position there. Uh, the black and orange colours. Uh, they're then followed by V Power. The total lockdown is still at the, at the back of the field. Orange Martini's kicked on here. Uh, leads by about three lengths to Tidal Storm in second then on the outside in third is the bay warrior then right up the inner grigio has had a lovely run in transit thus far you'd have thought the escape escarpment is in the black and orange jacket followed then by v power the yellow and purple colors and total lockdown is at the back of the field making their way towards the end of the back straight very shortly orange martini and barry lou is still with a three-length call over oh, tidal storm who's racing in second rather wide on the track the bay warrior but he has been throughout then up the inside grigio followed then by escarpment uh, those black and orange colours, then V Power, last but one, and total lockdown still at the rear of the field. Inside the final four furlongs very shortly, and it's Orange Martini off the track for 100 days. She leads at the moment to round the outside in second, the Bay Warrior, then in between the pair, Tidal Storm, the black and red colours, Grigio, the grey horse races in fourth, then Escarpment in fifth, V Power is now ridden along towards the rear of the field by Oshin Murphy, and total lockdown turns in last. They're swinging for home inside the final three furlongs now, and it's Orange Martini, hasn't been passed yet. The Bay Warrior is now being scrubbed along so too tidal storm grigio is now waiting for the cutaway to appear in a gap now has been forthcoming there then followed by v power and escarpment down towards the closing stages they come inside the final furlong and a half grigio's hit the front escarpment now down the center of the track is getting into gear grigio escarpment v power from the back as well grigio the far side escarpment the near v power is still persevering over on the far side as well as they race up towards the line grigio and v power grigio by a, a diminishing margin but a decisive one Grigio has beaten V-Power, Escarpment finished in third, fourth or so, total lockdown. A race worked out perfectly for Grigio, Jack Mitchell, Simon Pierce, second win of the campaign for Simon, and four in a line running into the first bend, from stall two, Jack Mitchell could sit patiently and track him, perfect run through, nice effort on yard, David V-Power back in second, Machine Murphy and Deborah.